Hello, my name is Niklas Marloitz and I'm the project officer of Dynexability for CE. And today I'm going to present you the project. The project in a nutshell is basically that it is part of the fourth interact call and the plan duration is from March 2020 until the end of this year, but it will be most likely extended for another three months. We have 11 partners which are divided onto seven countries and the funding framework is about 1 million euros. Here we see a nice map of Central Europe where all our partners are located. These are the Stuttgart region in Germany, city of Graz in Austria, Redmond, Parma and Apal in Italy. And then we have Leipziger Verkehrsbetriebe in Leipzig, which are also the project leaders. Krakow, Ausgatech, Mobilissimus and Kobrefinica. We also have two partners outside of Central Europe. That is Rubrecht Consult based in Cologne, Germany and my employer Polis Network based in Brussels, Belgium. What is Dynexability all about? You're already wondering what the name means. Basically, we have a creation between dynamic and flexibility, which combines into Dynexability 4CE. The 4CE stands for 4 Central Europe. Our topics are Mars, CCAM and UVAR. It's basically the ability to manage change in dynamic and complex environments. And that is basically finding the right balance between long-term vision and adaptability and finding the right balance between regulation such as UVAR legislation and new ideas to foster innovation. Aim of Dynexability is to solve a certain challenge, which is basically that cities are increasingly growing. We have a strong movement from the countryside towards cities or urban environments, which remain still car centric. And um, the decarbonization efforts that are done in certain areas, so for example, the inner city, where you have, uh, for example, urban vehicle access regulations have then uh, certain spillover effects to other maybe neighborhoods or the entire region. So when, you, when you're getting rid of certain cars of, in certain areas, they are going to drive somewhere else, basically. And uh, the challenge remains that um, cities need to be rebuilt in a sustainable way uh, to have uh, low carbon planning and to have a low carbon functional urban area. And the solution to that is Dynexability. We also have uh, frameworks that are helping for this. So basically we have uh, the EU, which adopted uh, people-friendly transport policies for active mobility. We have the so-called sustainable urban mobility plans, the SAMS. And um, the problem is still that SAMS, then mobility as a service, CCAM and UVAS are mostly topics that are implemented in Northern and Western Europe. But the first topic is Uber. We have two cities that are tackling this because they are either going to establish or increase the Uber's in this city, which is Krakow uh, in Poland and Parma in Italy. So um, the aim is to uh, have capacity building events and also to share internal knowledge amongst the Dynexability partners with the outcome of uh, creating an annex to the SAMP Uber topic guide. But um, this is also being achieved by having transnational workshops with the European Uber community. So we are going to bring in expertise from all over Europe, uh, which will then help to create this SAMP Uber topic guide. Hakon will also participate in the framework of MAS. And the other three cities are Graz in Austria, Budapest, the capital of Hungary, and Koprivnica in Croatia. And the output is going to be uh, an adaption of the SAMP self-assessment tool towards Mars. Analysis workshops were already executed, and um, the aim was share knowledge about the Mars readiness levels, the European legislative framework, and the experience in, of the four local cities. So there was a lot of exchange of knowledge and um, this was very much important because the cities are in different progress levels. 
Cooperative Connected and Automated Mobility, short CCAM, is tackled by Leipzig, Stuttgart, Graz and Parma. And the aim is that there will be an adaption of the sum self-assessment tool towards cut readiness. And uh, this will be achieved by the execution of several diagnosis workshops with the cities, a certain percentage of the knowledge of CCAM is based on the Coexist project that focused on connected and automated driving in several European cities. You have the opportunity to follow us on our dissemination channels. You can find us on social media. You can look at the Dynexability homepage. We also have the SUMP Central homepage that has been taken over by a previous project and you can check out our newsletter. You could follow us on Twitter at Dynexability4CE or you search us on LinkedIn. We are Project Dynexability on LinkedIn and you can scan the QR code next to me to get to our homepage.